Oh my god. Well, I was not expecting that. Very cool. And so then you go up here, and the kitty cats are right across the way. Don't be fooled. It looks like there's only one. But there are more. And so this is how you do it. You cheat. Say hello. And he says, Arr! And you go right here in these trees. They can't go past it. I don't know why. I don't know who designed that. And then you just hit him. And then he... You know. Goes over there. Then you bring him back. Then he goes away. Then he glitches out. Okay, so they all go over there. Then you just come up here. He's like, ah, I'm gonna get you. And then he comes right over here. And the frame rate is unbelievably horrible. For some reason. I don't know. I guess the hair? It's gotta be the hair. So this is all you do. He will not go down here. I don't know why. It's really quite stupid, but... I did not design this game. Weapon at risk? No way! Ah, whatever, I can beat him. It's my other weapon. So now they all come out to play. And you just do the same thing. It's like here, come fight me. Then you get hit because you're not paying attention. I gotta switch it out. And then you do this for, I don't know, forever. Because if you want to fight all three of them at the same time, you're probably gonna die. See, that guy didn't even hit me. I don't understand what's going on. They can't do anything. They don't even know what they're doing. Ouch. That's what happens when you get greedy. Get greedy. Ah, come on. Everybody knows. P 
Panthers on steroids. That's what they are. I heard it. I read it in the uh, strategy guide. Ugh. This is very, very boring. Now I took on one of them just fine. Then I found out you get him low and his two little friends come out to play. And that's when you die. So this is really the only way to do it unless you're a high level champ. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Woo. They will tear you up. And yes, this is very boring. I think I said that. Ah. Baking a panther cake tonight. Gotta cut up the little panther pieces. I'm gonna get hit. Panther pieces. It tastes great. Yeah. So now I can show you fighting one, because they're not that bad. They do that though. That's very, very annoying. They jump and you lose focus or you lose the uh I don't know. the lock you lose the lock on. And it's really, really quite annoying. Dodge, it's not that bad. He's stuck. <laughs> and then hopefully this happens for you. Although it probably won't. And there you go. Not too bad. So, um, let's see. What else did I do with Vampire Dawn when I was losing my recording. Well, I got that, obviously. Well, that's right, I came over here. Okay. So check this out. You come over this way. There are these little mushroom people. That really just don't give a damn. I don't care. Look at this. Look at this. Look. Hey, what's up? Na, 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 na. They don't care about me. So, if you fight their... Uh, you see those big ones back there? There's a chest. Which gives you something pretty cool. I figure what it is. Some kind of stone that I don't know how to use yet. But, uh... If you want to fight their parents... You probably want to kill all the children first. I don't know. That's what I did. I'm not sure if they'll come against you once you start fighting the parents. But, uh, not too bad. The parents, they're pretty easy. You can also get them stuck in trees. So, like this. 
if you get the parent over here and, and the parent's like Rawr. and then you're over here the parent will just be stuck there like can't do anything and you can just keep hacking away that's what I suggest seems to work pretty well so another thing I did with Vampire Dawn was I went to that door that door is no bueno 